Dear learners, welcome you all to e-learning platform. So, in this video, I will discuss about workshop in Moodle. What to do with workshop in Moodle? Workshop is a task to empower the capability of the students. What do you have to do in workshop? For the students, there are two phases in workshop. The first one is submission phase and the second one is assessment phase. In submission phase, you have to submit your notes in Amos Word or PowerPoint slides. In assessment phase, you will assess, review or mark your classmates or peers work. Dear learners, get ready to see the workshop in action. So, in the submission phase, how will you submit your work? Let's see. For example, we will enter the course Elizabethan and Restoration Drama. We will scroll down to the workshop section of week 3. Here you can see workshop on week, week 1, 2 and 3 lessons. So we will click this, click this section. Here you can see a dashboard. You can see a dialog box. This box only can be seen by the teachers, not by the student. To make you understand what is workshop or the phases of workshop, I will let you see this. This is the setup phase which a teacher in the e-learning platform set up the workshop for the students which will empower them. The second phase is submission phase while the teacher switch to the next phase that is the submission phase. While this phase is active you can submit your works. Until this phase is active you cannot submit any work. So make sure your teacher has activated this phase that is submission phase. The next phase after the submission phase is assessment phase. <coughs> While all the students submitted their works then assessment phase will be activated. And one student will assess the work of another student. So, their peers work. So, in this way, you will assess your classmates or your peers work. And through this, you can understand how your classmates or peers work on their notes or assignments and how you work. You can compare and contrast. After finishing the assessment phase, the teacher will switch to the grading evaluation phase. Here you will grade your peer, peers work and then teacher will observe your activity and then the teacher will close this workshop so this way a workshop works so now I will upload an example work for you so that you can submit your work in the same way 
So now we are going to work in the submission phase. First of all, you will read the instructions here given by your teacher. Here are the specific notes. Carefully read the specific notes. Here I will add an example submission. But in your cases, you will see add submission. You will click add submission and upload your work. In PowerPoint presentation, that will be better. Or you can submit your work in Microsoft Word. So whichever format you like, you can submit your work. So now let's see, I'm going to upload my work so that you can follow me and upload yours. Add an example. First you will give a title. Notes by Faisal Ahmed. As this is my work, so I put my name here. Notes by Faislamet in the title phase, in the title section. And now you can write anything here, like I have collected some notes on week one, two, and three I have showed them in a PowerPoint presentation any of my classmate or peer and or my teachers can access my work. Access my work. That's it. You can add more descriptions, more text if you like. So I have just added three sentences here. So now I will upload a file, the file which I have collected my notes in a PowerPoint presentation. So now you will click this icon to upload your work. Make sure the upload file section is selected and then choose file and then you search where you have put your work I have put my work here so this one I have selected for workshop and the title is notes by Faisal Ahmed now I will upload my file and it has already been uploaded within seconds as my internet is faster so now I will save so this way you can upload any work in your workshop in the submission phase So after the completion of submission from all the students, the teacher will switch the phase to the next level that is assessment phase. In assessment phase, you will see this dialog box and instruction. Read this very carefully. And then there will be three aspects, aspect one, aspect two and aspect three. 
on these three aspects, he will assess the work of your peers. So how you will assess the work? Let's see, I will show you how you can mark or review your peers work. First of all, you will download your peers' work and then you will go to the review section and then if you find any mistake or any correction, then you will select the section and then make the new comment and then write correction is needed here then press just anywhere okay go to the next level go to the next go to the next to the next to the next new comment font is not large enough or you can write for example Spelling mistake. So this way you can mark. Overall, for overall marking, you just click the section, comment, and for example, out of seventy, you'd like to give um, sixty-five out of seventy. Right down here, you see it. So now you will close this section I will save it save it as review student has assessed my work and his name is for example Raihan so assessed by Raihan assessed by Raihan and I'll click in this desktop now is the task relevant to the lessons of week one and two yes or you can write no or you can write yes but there are some lacks So now you will put number in the three aspects divided. So this phase is out of 20, the next one is out of 25, and the next one is out of 25. So out of 20, I'd like to give 17. Then phase 2, yes or no, or yes, but more. Improvement is needed. I'm gonna give 22 here and aspect 3. The same way you can write your comment and then give 23 or any, any number. That's it.
feedback for daughter you can write any feedback for daughter or your peers and now save and close so this way you can access any work I mean your peers work that's all about workshop submission and assessment your teacher will continuously guide you throughout this work thank you very much